This is what the dumpster dive trapping challenge is. We go to various stores, look for food in their dumpsters, and use it for baiting our traps. The first dumpster we're gonna go check is at Dollar General. Let's go over there and see what they got. All right, we made it to Dollar General. They just closed too, and you wanna wait till the stores close because for some reason, they don't like you going through their dumpster and getting free stuff. So the dumpster's right over there. I'm gonna drive my truck over there and block off the side so no one will see me. All right, let's go see what we got. They're on a bunch of bags. Usually they just throw everything in here. What's this? We got some sweet tea. I don't think that's gonna help us very well for trapping. So across the road right there is a grocery store. We're gonna go check that next. Usually that is like the, the spot to go. It's always loaded most of the time. So let's go over there and see what they got. All right, there they are, the two dumpsters. Oh, jackpot. We got a, a bunch of pizzas. Look at all these pizzas right here. There's pizzas everywhere. The raccoons are gonna love this. Man, they're still cold too. Probably still eat these perfectly fine. How many should I get for these traps? Um, I wanna get three pizzas. We'll get three pizzas. I don't think there's too much else in this dumpster. Let's go check this one. Okay, that one's empty. There's some trash in there. All right, so we just got our three pizzas. The raccoons are gonna go crazy over this. Those three pizzas could easily be enough for the bait for our traps, but we need to mix it up a little bit more and check some more dumpsters because we got that much on one dumpster. We still got, let's see, we have Walmart, maybe Kroger's, Aldi's maybe? I think that's it. Let's go drive over there, see if we can find any more goodies in the dumpsters. Oh, uh, we just pulled up on the side of Kroger's. There's the dumpster right there. We're gonna have to make this one quick because the road's right out there. Cars are driving by constantly. I don't want people getting suspicious or anything. I don't think anyone's watching me. Oh no, they locked it. No. Get out of here. I think there's another big dumpster behind Kroger's. So like right when I closed the door of my truck, I looked back and there was two guys just standing there like 20 feet away from me. I don't know how long they were watching me, but that was kind of awkward. So we'll go check Aldi's and see if there's anything there. Aldi's is kind of eh about there being stuff. All right, we're rolling up on Aldi's right now. There's the dumpster right there. Usually there's some good stuff here. Hopefully no one walks out on me this time. There's a door right there. All right, it looks like this is the best one of the night. We got some oranges, some grapes right here. We even got some chicken back there. All right, we're gonna take this cheese and this chicken right here. Sorry, this lighting is horrible. Some chicken legs right back there. I wanna get those really bad. Ugh, I can't reach them though. All right, we got the chicken legs. Oh, we got some bread right here. All right, we got some bread some chicken and cheese. It's really turned out to be a good night dumpster diving. One time, the power went out at Walmart and Kroger, so they threw like everything away. And I ended up finding a $20 ribeye. It was the best steak I've ever had, and it was out of a dumpster. And then we went to Kroger's, and that's where the jackpot was. And we found loads of cinnamon rolls. So many cinnamon rolls. We took, we took like a hundred of those little cylinders of cinnamon rolls home, and we had them for like the next three months it was awesome we're at Walmart right now coming up to Walmart we're gonna sneak around to the backside sometimes Walmart doesn't have their dumpster out you get kind of lucky for Walmart see if they have anything all right looks like Walmart has a dumpster out oh I can see it's locked see the lock on it so that's all the dumpsters I can really think of to go to tonight so we're gonna head home we have plenty of bait for the traps to catch some raccoons and stuff or something so it's been a couple days since we went dumpster diving let me show you what we got here to work with for bait so this is everything we got we have three pizzas some cheese some chicken tenderloins some chicken legs and some of this bread chocolate chip bread right there. So we're gonna be trying to catch a raccoon with all this food we got from the dumpsters. Right up there's a big coon den tree. This is gonna be our first location we're setting traps on. I wouldn't be surprised if there's half a dozen coon living in that tree. So there's plenty enough to set several traps here. There's a trail 
going across the road right here. We'll set at least one trap there. There's another trail coming out right here where they're coming out of the tree. So I'm gonna probably put the trap right there. So here's my plan for this spot. We're gonna put one trap there and then the trail that crosses, we're gonna put a trap down there too. And then on this trail over here, we'll put a trap right there. So three traps at this location should be pretty good spot. I wouldn't be surprised if we load up on three coons out of the three traps here. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be setting all these traps right now. All right, so my first trap is gonna be this dog proof raccoon trap. And it's gonna be on this one of the trails crossing right here. I'm gonna use these chicken tenders for the bait. So what I'm gonna do is cut them up into little chunks like this. And I'm gonna get one of the chunks, put it down inside the trap, pierce it onto the trigger. So when he feels the piece of chicken down there, he's gonna pull it and it's gonna set off on his foot. I'm gonna put it down in the ground and we'll get these other chunks of chicken and put them down. We'll put two of them in the trap and then some on the outside like that. And that should be good. We're probably gonna catch a coon there tonight. So this is the cage trap I'm gonna set. The tree's just right there where the coons are coming out of. And here's what I'm gonna use for bait. I'm gonna use a whole pizza. It's all thawed out. All the toppings are falling off. Yeah. Now we'll get the toppings I spilled. We'll put those out front just for, for a little bait to get the raccoons to go all the way in the trap. And that should be good. So I just got all the traps set at this location. I ended up setting it one extra trap. So we have the first dog proof right there. There's another dog proof with the same bait. There's the box trap with the pizza. And right down there, I did end up setting another one. I just put through a couple of cheese sandwiches in there for the raccoons. So I'd say that's a pretty good amount of traps to be set at this location. Any coon coming out of that tree or passing along this creek is going to get caught. 100% sure. Maybe. So on the next location, I decided to move away from the woods, head over to the barns where there's a bunch of good coon trails going through there. I ended up setting three traps there, two cage traps and one dog proof trap. After those three traps were set, I decided to move back towards the woods, hoping to find a really good coon trail to set the rest of the traps on. All right, I made it to the woods and I think I just found some of the best coon trails I've ever seen in my life. So right here's the first one, look at that. You can see it all the way back there going through the woods. I already did set two of my traps here already. I'll go ahead and show you them. So right here's the cage trap. I just put the rest of the bread I had in there, which was like three quarters of the loaf. There's the coon trail going right past there. I think, yeah, there's one going right behind it too. And you can even see the coons going down this hill right here. There's another trail. You can see their tracks sliding down the hill right there. I was just right up there. If we come down here, I set this cage trap. I threw all the chicken legs in there. So we'll see if a coon will eat all those tonight. This is a huge spot coons could be denning up at. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a dozen raccoons in there right now. So this is the last of the bait I have. I still have one pizza left, a whole pizza. And I figured out a way I can use these two footholds. These are the last two traps I have. Okay, so you can see this coon trail coming through right here. And I'm about to make a raccoon set that has probably not Never been done before. So I'm gonna scrape off some of these toppings right here and I'm gonna set the traps on top of the pizza. <laughs> I have no idea if this is actually gonna work. And then what I'll do is just put the pepperonis and stuff right over the traps. So if a raccoon reaches down to grab some pepperoni and just bumps the pan, boom, he's caught right there. So I have no idea if this raccoon set's actually gonna work. The traps are right across the trail, so even if a raccoon doesn't even care about the food, he could still get caught running across the traps. So I brought this trail camera, we're gonna set it up on a tree and see if we can get footage of the raccoons coming by and see if they actually stop and get caught because of the pizza or if they just run across the traps and get caught because they stepped on it accidentally. Let's get this thing strapped on. It needs to be angled down. Put a stick in there, tighten it down a little bit more. It's already on video mode, so we're good to go. So we ended up using all the dumpster food and got all the traps set too. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Hopefully we'll have some raccoons. All right, so it's the next morning. We're checking the traps. I'm at the first location where this giant tree is. And the only thing that happened is this trap got set off, but all my bait seems to be like there's not even any of my bait taken at all. Like they didn't even take the pepperonis out there. So I don't know, maybe a bird landed on top of it. I had it set on a hair trigger, so it might've just set itself off to get this trap reset. And I'm going to the next spot. So we're at the barns where I put the three traps and we got three for three catches on the three traps I put in here. Here's the first one. We got a big possum. He's asleep right now. We're gonna let this possum go. I don't have any use for a possum. I want to see where this possum's gonna go because I don't know where they're living in the in this barn. Here he goes. 
Ah, uh, there's a groundhog hole back there. He's gonna go down there. There he went, he just went down that hole right there. All right, let's go take a look at the other two catches. So right over here, we did get a raccoon. Looks like a big one too. Got him in the dog proof with the chicken for bait. <laughs> he was a little money one. And on this cage trap, we got a cat, feral cat. I don't know why, but we have so many feral cats around here, it's crazy. Like, they're no one's pets or anything. They're completely wild. They're really mean. I'm gonna let this cat go. We could do a catch and cook with the cat, but that'd just be weird. <laughs> this thing's gonna be run away super fast because he's terrified of me. Just like the raccoon over there. It's completely as wild as a raccoon. There he goes. So we got their cat on pizza. I put half a pizza on there, and it looks like you just ate the toppings off of it. So we're going to do a catch and cook with this raccoon I caught. I'm going to use my Gamo pellet gun to take him out. I've never done a raccoon catch and cook before, so I'm really curious to see what they taste like. So let's go ahead and get this thing dispatched. Got him. All right, we still got three or four traps to check. I think we're going to have at least one more raccoon. Okay, we're at the last spot of the day, and we got nothing. On this trap down here with all the chicken legs, the trap got set off like that other cage trap, but something cleaned these chicken legs off. So we only got one raccoon today. It's not as good as I was expecting, so we're gonna leave these traps out for at least one more day and see if we can catch any more. We're gonna do a catch and cook with the raccoon we got today. I'll see you guys back at the house, and we'll cook this thing up. So here's all the meat I got off the raccoon. It's not a lot, but if you never cleaned a raccoon before, they have a ton of fat. So what I did is I just cut off all the meat, all the good meat, into these little chunks like this, so there's no fat on them. I'm gonna cook them the same way I cooked the rabbit in my rabbit hunting video. I'm just gonna put them in some flour, mixed, I mixed some garlic, salt, and onion powder in there. Throw those in there, we'll mix it all up real good. And I got some olive oil right here, we'll put them in and fry them up nice and crispy. And there it is, it's done cooking now. It actually smells and looks pretty good. So I had I tried a raccoon leg when I was like 10 years old. It was the worst thing I've ever had. So I'll we'll see if this tastes any better. Okay, that's actually pretty good. The raccoon did turn out pretty chewy, but that's how all the meat I fry turns out. It always turns out chewy, but the flavor, I can't really describe what the flavor is like. I don't know. It's like buttery. It's not like groundhog. It's not like squirrel or rabbit. I don't know really how to describe to you how the flavor is. You'll just have to go get a raccoon and try it for yourself, but I'll see you guys tomorrow when we go check the traps again. All right, it's day two of checking the raccoon traps. We're at the spot with the big tree right here, and we had some raccoon activity last night. So on this trap, we didn't get anything, but you see the pepperonis down there gone. So we at least had a raccoon go into the cage trap a little bit and eat some of the bait, but he didn't get caught. And right down here, we got a raccoon. He even tipped the trap over. He's sleeping right now. You see this lock right here? Usually this goes up and they can just push the door. If they push hard enough, it just opens up. But yeah, nice looking raccoon. I'm not going to eat this raccoon or kill it. They are big pests on our farm, but I don't know. I just I want to release one to see what it does. <laughs> oh! <laughs> mean one. Hopefully it doesn't run back at me. This is going to be kind of scary. Hopefully it just tries to go run away. There he goes. What's he going to do? What's he doing? He's going under the bridge. <laughs> what? Why is he going under the bridge? <laughs> He's walking on the ice. There he goes. Wow, that was that was funny. Yeah, he must have a den over that way somewhere because I thought for sure he was going to climb right up this tree. Okay, we're at the barns right now checking these traps. I only had one trap set here because they took all the bait out of the other ones and I didn't have any bait left. But we got a possum where I caught the cat. He ate all the pizza that was down there. I'll let him go see what he does. Oh, he doesn't know what to think. <laughs> oh man, well... There's his tail. Oh, I was gonna grab it. We're at the final location of the day and we got a raccoon. 
We got one on the pizza set with the trail camera watching. Pretty big one. Surprisingly, every raccoon that came by to the pizza would not eat it. It just smelled the pizza, walked on past, and didn't have any interest in actually eating it. There was even two raccoons right here. They just ran away. And then finally we had a raccoon come up. I think this was the raccoon we actually caught in the trap. But of course my trail camera decides to stop working and we don't actually end up seeing the raccoon get caught on the camera. Nothing in the bread one. All the bread almost got eaten, so. See, there's a bunch of crumbs right there. Or one is chomping at them. And the trap of chicken legs got nothing. It got set off. Oh my goodness. No way. We had a raccoon. Look what he did. <laughs> he broke through the trap. Look at this hole. He made a hole the size of my fist and he fit through it and got out. What the heck? Look at all the hair right here. What in the world, man? And look how, he was in here for a while too. Look at all these digging marks he made. He pulled a bunch of dirt into the trap. He didn't eat all the chicken legs though. There's still three and maybe a half right there left. That's funny. Man, I wish I had the trail camera on this one. That would have been awesome. I'm gonna dispatch the raccoon we got in the pizza trap. He's been chewing on his foot a lot. He didn't break the bone, but he's kind of bloody. So it's probably best to put them down. They are a huge pest on our farm anyway, so I probably should be killing all of them I catch. Shot through the head and he lights out instantly. That's it for this video, subscribe.